Ladies and gentlemen, here we are again, proactive health communication campaign. <clears throat> and I'm talking about cancer prevention in Washington State. And this is Veronica Fuchu, RMBSA, DMP, Psych Mental Health Nurse Practitioner student at Bradman University. Subpopulation at risk. The population that I choose is uh, female breast cancer. Breast cancer is the most frequent diagnosed cancer and the second leading cause of cancer death among Washington women, Washingtonians women. So in Washington state in 2014, there were six, nine, 26 new cases of female breast cancer and the age adjusted incident rate was 69 per 1,000 women and 865 women died of breast cancer. It adjusted mortality rate 20 per 1,000 women. In 2014, Washington's incidence rate was higher than the U.S. rate. Washington has consistently ranked among the 10 states with the highest rates of newly diagnosed invasive breast cancer. Similar to the U.S. overall female breast cancer incidence rates in Washington have remained level since 2006 Washington has not yet achieved the Healthy People 2020 goal to reduce the incidence of late stage breast cancer in women to 41 cases per 1,000 women. In 2014, 44 cases of late stage breast cancer were diagnosed per 1,000 Washington women. In 2014, 865 women died of breast cancer and age adjusted mortality of 20 per 100,000 women. I just realized it's the same thing up here and that's um next slide review a brief review of cancer breast cancer is the most common invasive cancer in women and the second leading cause of cancer death in women after lung cancer overall in the uh, in the nation not just in washington state nationally african-american women are more likely to be diagnosed when the breast cancer is more advanced, have two more characteristics associated with poor survival and have disease that is more difficult to treat than white women. Breast cancer mortality rates in Washington state increase as women get older. National data show a similar pattern in 2016. The latest year for which incidence data are available, 2,245. 1,299 new cases of female breast cancer were reported and 41,487 women died of breast cancer in the United States. For every 100,000 women, 124 new breast can cancer cases were reported and 20 died of cancer. Cancer is the second leading cause of death in the United States, exceeding only by heart disease. One of every four deaths in the United States is due to cancer, CDC 2016. Conceptual theory, comfort theory. I have been using this theory throughout and it ties with my CSP, which is um, uh, adding Reiki therapy to conventional medicine to um, improve pain outcome for cancer patients at end of life. And so uh, comfort theory, the comfort theory is one of the moderate level nursing theories developed by Kokaba, Kathleen Kokaba. Even though comfort is a multifaceted concept that is difficult to define, it is a desired and acceptable result that one seeks to reach with effective nursing care. Attending and sustaining the comfort of the patient as well as therapeutic nursing interventions lie at the heart of nursing and nursing functions. Kokabo has determined comfort levels as relief, ease, and transcendent. Those are the concepts of the comfort theory. Relief is transcending according to the intensity of meeting the individual comfort requirements. She has also explained comfort levels as physical, psycho-spiritual, environmental, and sociocultural according to the holistic comfort theory. So this is how it relates to um, breast cancer and breast cancer awareness, the stress and anxiety observed in early stage breast cancer female patients as well as the side effects of treatment have negative effects on their comfort. The growing tendency of patients with increased comfort either consciously or unconsciously towards health-seeking behavior 
causes a justification for the application of comfort increasing interventions. The determination of radiation therapy to comfort the application of interventions that will increase the comfort level of the patient and the attainment of its continuity are among the fundamental responsibilities of nurses. It is important to determine the comfort and quality of life levels of patients during treatment to control the negative factors. Health Promotion Campaign Breast Cancer Awareness Campaign is the sum of the pictures I just shared. Early detection, cure, prevention. The earlier you detect it, you can cure it and you can prevent it right early. Health Promotion Campaign continues. This orange represent the two lemons, the two breasts. So it only takes a minute to check for a bath seat. Take a minute in the bathroom and, and do and this advisable for women to do self-breast exam. Health promotion campaign on Facebook. If only you check your breast as often, not checking status updates won't hurt you, but breast cancer can and might even kill you in the time you spend online. You can easily do a breast self examination instead. Learn how to perform one at bcf.org. This is a sample. And health promotion campaign continue. Um, the use of Facebook Live. I have a huge, huge, huge audience on Facebook, um, like 10,000. Um, I have groups, I have a page, um, several groups, um, child abuse group, family groups. And so doing a Facebook Live and inviting all those groups to promote campaign, to share how um, you or a loved one have been affected by breast cancer. So I do a live and invite guests to come in and share. Um, one of my pages, I do have people share about uh, child abuse. So it will be another medium to share breast cancer experiences. Create a breast cancer awareness. WhatsApp support group to teach, educate, and sensitize the community about screenings. Breast self exams and ask questions and air consents. These are some of the groups where people can come in and have questions if you're doing some exam and you see something that's abnormal you can as well or share with somebody ask some questions maybe somebody has gone through it and they can tell you go see the doctor or nothing so encourage uh, my followers to wear the pink ribbon in october or all year round in support of breast cancer the pink ribbon we all know represent breast cancer in october is a uh, breast cancer awareness month that's where remind anybody that sees that, uh, oh, I need to go do my breast cancer exam. Oh, I need to go have my mammogram done. Um, share about breast cancer awareness month on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or LinkedIn. I have um, accounts with all of this. And this is the references that um, we use to see and all of that. Ah, thank you. Uh, we have come to the end of this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this is the campaign for breast cancer awareness uh, was worth it. Thank you.